From the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas, Nevada, this is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen alongside Joe Stapleton. We are coming at you from the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas. Let's take a peek at our lineup and chip counts. A couple of big ballers buying in. Ryan Fee and Kyle Bowker. Wow, 25,000. Look at all the money. So Bryn County is straddling. That is a blind raise. Under the gun, buys you position before the flop. Yeah. Ryan Fees raised that queen jack suited. Bowker is three betting with 10 six suited. Welcome back to Poker Night in America, Kyle Bowker. Now, if he were in position, I could see him calling here out of position. He might actually put in another raise. There it is. These two must have some history together to be playing this weird. Like, why not just see a flop with Queen Jack suited? 45. Race. Up to 4,500 from Kyle Bowker. Yeah, let's just five bet call with Queen Jack suited and 10 six of spades. Why not? I wonder if this is how the rest of the day is going to be between these two. It kind of knocks the fun out of for everybody else when they've got that much money on the table. King, 7-9 is the flop. Both players miss, but are probably going to act like they didn't. He checks to the aggressor, who checks behind. Jack on the turn, so Fee pulls further ahead. Fee checks to him again. Double gutter now for Bowker on the turn. Four. Well, this is obviously a good bet if Ryan's thinking about it. My guess is Ryan thinks probably sometimes he's smashed, sometimes he's barely ahead, and pretty much every time he's gonna be facing a massive river bet. And he folds the best hand. Nice job, Kyle Bowger. Some fireworks early on here in Las Vegas on day number three. Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimosabi Mezcal. All right, Jennifer Tilly's playing cards. I love it. You got in there quick on this one. <laughs> Cindy Kerslake, she's Canadian, eh? She calls. Bryn Kenny calls. Esther Taylor calls. This is almost a family pot. It's just like my own family. <laughs> Missing almost. my dad at Christmas. And the flop brought to you by Kimosabi Mezcal is 8 10 3. Couple of clubs. Kenny with the nut flush draw. Tilly with the third nut flush draw. Eight. Except if she knew how ridiculously bad her reverse implied odds are, she would not be betting 800 here. Why aren't you getting a little judgmental? <laughs> I don't even know what reverse implied odds means. You read that in a book again, didn't you? I don't read books. So Bryn calls with the nut flush draw. Bryn's got Jen in jail here. Just me and the notorious Bryn Kenny. <laughs> but somehow she catches good on the turn. Ooh, that's fun. Bottom pair, good. They both check. And she catches good on the river, too. Stop. Bryn's got really no shot at not betting this. He's never going to suspect Jen's this strong after playing it the way she did. I mean, who backs themselves with the two pair with Queen Deuce? Jen Tilly, that's who. Six. Ooh. Really tough for this raise to get called by a worse hand. Don't beat anything. Nothing? Nothing. Can't find the hand that I could beat in the deck. Good lay down. If you can't beat anything in the deck, <laughs> I'd say you made a good fall. <laughs> I love those reality shows, because Filthy had, um, I bet you. So we're always trying to guess, did the producers sell them to say that, you know? Oh, well, is that person hired like somebody walking by? Is that a real person or is this somebody they hired? And then sometimes we can tell when they make the crew members go and like sit in the empty tables behind the people. I'll call. Jen's in with queen nine. 
the Dean of Brinston, Bryn Kenny, he's in with two tens. Angry fold from Ite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like trying to justify it. Ace high flop, two clubs. Bryn Kenny's got the best hand. He checks. Checks around to Jen. Oh, poor Jennifer, taking more stabs than the last three Chucky movies combined. And losing nearly as much money. I think those movies do really well in Spain, actually. Kenny raises it to 1450. 1450. Run. Oh. Run, <laughs> Tilly, run. Get away. Oh, boy. Okay, oh, no. I think Bryn expects to be up against a draw a lot here. We could see another bet easily go in. Just a call. All right, so we've got 9,500 in the pot as we move to the turn with Jennifer Tilly and Bryn Kenny. Tilly picks up a straight draw and gets a check from Kenny. Oh, she could take a free river right here. That's what she's gonna do. Straight doesn't come for Tilly, <laughs> it's quads for Bryn Kenny. So now she has absolutely no chance of bluffing him off this hand. Let's see if he gives her the opportunity. No, he's got a bet. You cannot let her check behind you. That would be the worst feeling. 76? Other than when I was told that I was gonna have to spend the night with you in Las Vegas tonight. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad for me, it's just bad for you. Like, I snore. Hmm. You blinked like you didn't like the river. Oh, he liked the river. I don't like the bet. I think you have a busted flush draw. Jen's read is worse here than the time I tried to tackle infinite jest. It's like 4,000 pages. You should have bet the turn. Read a book sometimes, guys. These references are going over your heads. All right, I didn't watch all of the Super High Roller. I just watched you busting out, and I thought, I can beat that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Love her. Ah. Oh. Nice, nice Bryn Kenny move, Bryn Kenny. <laughs> Not a move. Maybe I just had quads. Be you, Kenny. I'm going ham. How would you? Poker Night is brought to you by <laughs> Sit and Go 2.0. Go to sitandgo20.net and claim your free Sit and Go 2.0 strategy ebook. If Alan had the straddle on, you would have called. Alan. You, you would have made another 100. Why did you not put a straddle on? He forgot. He just forgot. I'll do my Tony G impersonation. You come to my game. <laughs> <laughs> you owe 100. Yeah, give her a Give the nice uh, lady yeah. 100. <laughs> no, that's all right. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, is that a straddle? Yes. yes. Okay, I, I will now make it. <laughs> now that's <laughs> more reasonable. 300. <laughs> I will give you a chance now to get three, yeah, why you three give straddles. Me why don't you give me a chance before when I had the pocket kings? <laughs> oh, are you saying you don't have as good this That's time? like such a saying? waste of kings. Here, this is for you for giving that's me those gold. kings. Yeah. You know, maybe somebody would have had, bro, maybe she played a two, five, and then hit two pair. I would, oh. You That's have quads now, huh? <laughs> yes, I bet. Don't bet. I'm going to bet. Don't bet. Why? Because I have a king. I don't care. I haven't felt this bad for Jen since Bullets Over Broadway split the Oscar vote. Do you really have a king, Alan? Because, no, he says he doesn't. Do you? I cannot tell a lie. Therefore, I will say nothing. I will find out now whether you have a king or not. By betting? By checking. Can't help myself. <laughs> Jen's still betting, still firing with 6% equity. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Sometimes 6% gets there. Oh, Alan, I haven't felt this bad for him since he was runner up in a Who Looks Like an Eagle contest. Call. River. Whoa, nice. Oh. Nice. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, she turned that over quick. Yeah. She did like when I did with the sixes. <laughs> Ryan Fee makes it 300 with his queens. Low fee. Trying to live a life that's completely free. Nothing going on today for Ite. That's too bad because she's bought like 40 drinks for the crew today. 
Set of queens for Ryan Fee. And this really should go check, bet, fold. There's the check. There's the bet. And what a weird float this is. You were wrong, sir. Yeah, this is quite optimistic. Uh, now you're playing poker like me. Oh, look, I picked up a draw. This is so great. Richardson is halfway through a runner runner, which is longer than most people last watching that movie. Boom, roasted. Of course, Richardson now has to call that he's picked up the flush draw. 1100 was the bet and the call, so let's see a river. Nothing there for Richardson, but it's his play. Let's see what he does. Does not think eight high is gonna be good at showdown. Bet's 2100. 2, Ryan ain't Hollywooding here. He's never gonna fold because only two hands that beat him. He is, however, trying to figure out if a worse hand can ever call a raise. And against Eagley McEagleton over here, he might think no. Nope, he thinks yes. And no, the raise will not be called. Nice big pod for Ryan Fee and his flopped set of queens. There we go, now we're talking. Ete, more like a a -te. Raise 1,100. Ryan. Ite has literally not played a hand all day. What are you doing, Ryan? Yeah, she doesn't really fancy me as the person who's like getting antsy and deciding just to play anything. Especially not to three bet just anything. Cold three bet. But Ryan decides the cold four bet to 2,600 with Ace Jack suited. So does Ite think he's got a hand he can't fold, or does she think he's messing around? Well, she thinks he's got something. And Ite makes it 6,300. Oh, Ryan, you could have seen a flop for like $1,100, and now you've done gone made a mess of things. I think you'll take 9K pre-flop with aces, right? Absolutely, all the live long day. Welcome back to the Golden Nugget in Vegas. We are still bringing you high stakes action and it continues right now. I mean, I was getting, what was it? it was 200 to win 1,200 and I got to play a pot with three ladies. I was definitely gonna be in there with my threes and fours. What does that mean with three ladies? <laughs> All right, well, don't get offended there, Nurse Jackie. <laughs> is, that not, is, that, is, that, is that the wrong word? Hot chicks, is that better? Is that Hot fruit? chicks. <laughs> He's human He's beings, Ryan, enough. we're all human beings. Um, <laughs> Speaking of ladies. God, they're so hard to win with. You just can't win, no matter what you say. You guys are awesome. Oh, again with this one. No, you go three ladies and Cindy gets all like, three ladies. And you go. Oh. It's just so hard to win. Oh, I just surrender. I'm just sorry and just please forgive me. I'm sorry. It's kind of like, they're like saying, like there's some actors, the actresses, they don't want to be called actoresses. Actresses, because they say, well, you wouldn't say a lawyeress or a doctoress. Wow, this it's flop like, is huge. Yeah. This is a bigger flop than Jen's last four movies. That she turned down. I just you That's were right, I went high. You were expecting low. <laughs> nice job. Just they're women, it's so good to see you turn over that new <laughs> 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 Not girls, throwing girls, any bones. Girls, trying to make some friends. <laughs> Real hard to do that. <laughs> Bryn Kenny flops on us. Jen Tilly also flops a gigantic hand. We're left with these two to the turn. Prince Hen gets a little less valuable on the turn. We could have a lot more fun if it was, say, like a six. 1900, the bet from Kenny. I mean, Jen certainly can't fold. Bryn knows at worst he's chopping. And that remains the case on the river. And this is a nice attempt at a blocker bet from Jen. She's doing this in hopes of not facing a massive, confusing bet from Bryn here on the river. But remember, 
Bren's kind of like the best of all time. Also, he's got the nuts, so seems fairly obvious what's gonna happen here. I hated that ace, cause I figured you had an open-ended straight jaw. I'd like to say Jen gets away from this, but I've seen her call on this show oh so many times. I've seen her call more often than a jealous boyfriend. Well, if I bet the river and you don't have the winning hand, then the only way you're gonna win is to raise. Ask him if he has a jack. Do you have a jack? If I have a jack, it's either ace jack or not. Well, not really. It could I'm be telling jack you. king. I'm telling you the only jack I have here is either ace jack or not. Oh, Bren is the goat. He's so good. Ask if he has an ace. <laughs> I'm gonna, Tell him to show the ace. I'm going to show my <laughs> hand, and then I will see if you gulp, OK? Well, you have a set, I'm sure. Oh, I do have a set. Yeah, you flopped the set. How do you know? Because I'm not folding. He's very slippery. If you bluff me, you bluffed me. Good fold, Jen. Yeah, had an ace. Ace king. Show it. You're Show gonna, it. We you're going to see it. You're going to see it. Oh, my uh, God. You lost the minimum. got lucky on the turn. Oh, nice you hand. lost the minimum. <laughs> nice hand. Once again, the straddle is on. This time it's <laughs> Esther Taylor raising blind. What does that give me? Uh, ace, ten of clubs. You would have, you just have top pair. Okay, everybody has gotten into a hands of park, except for Cindy Cruz. Like, she's in the small blind. Let's make it happen this time. She's back on poker night in America. Even though she's Canadian, we allow it. <laughs> there they go. There they go, there they go, there they go again. That was weird to turn around and all those people were standing there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try, oh, you guys, money? <laughs> Coming to collect. Yeah, it's weird. Are they busing in tours? People do seem to be streaming by like this is some sort of attraction. I think they're just here to use the bathroom. Yeah, uh, yeah you can use the facilities, but you got to make a spin by the table. Well, if you go to Bali. Bowker and Fee heads up once again. These two are very deep in their stacks. Yeah, it's $30 for 90 minutes. It's called Bally Foot Spa. Bally Foot Spa. And, it's and of course you like tip, like, you know, but, well, uh -huh. but still, like the prices. Exactly. And they go. That's someone massaging you for 30 cents a minute. That's, well, that's less than a phone call on Boost Mobile. 1600 was Bowker's bet, and Fee called. Fee's five still good for now, but they are a virtual coin flip if the board runs out completely. Five still good. Four. Four thousand. And a bet from Bowker gets Fee to fold the best hand for the second time today. Kyle Bowker has got his number today of the two players who bought in for the most money at the start of the night of 25000 Bowker and Fee, San Francisco's most unlikely cop duo. Back inside the Golden Nugget Poker Room in Las Vegas, let's check out the chip stacks. After a very active table, Ryan Fee is in the hole 11 grand and Alan Richardson is stuck a bit. Jay Tilly is up over six grand after some very lucky and unlucky entanglements alongside Bring Kenny, who's up about the same. And if you want more Poker Night, it's easy to find us. We're on social media, including Twitch and YouTube, where you can find full episodes, live streams, and exclusive content. Also, don't forget to download our new free poker app. You and your friends can have your very own poker night, as well as a chance to win a seat in our show. Search for us in the App Store and download it today. For everyone at Poker Night in America, with Joe Stapleton and I'm Chris Hansen, we'll see you next time, and thanks for watching. Poker Night in America is brought to you by Kimosabi Mezcal and Sit and Go 2.0. The only quads. You had quads of 10? You didn't like the river because you thought, like, oh, that's good. Like that. You had two what? pair. What? Yeah, I had two pair. Tens, tens and tens. Tens, up. tens <laughs> up and down. How come when you think people are weak, they're actually incredibly <laughs> strong? Like at the top. <laughs> what? At the top of the range.